There are many ways to fix crack in Unity. We'll go from the easiest to the hardest. Right behind me is a 400 clone of this island, and my PC isn't really happy right now. Let's see what we can do to gain as many FPS as possible. First method, use GPU instancing. So GPU instancing is a powerful rendering technique in Unity. But before any of that, go to player settings and don't forget to enable static and dynamic patching. When you are done, select all the materials used for your scene and simply check the Enable GPU Instancing option. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, we get a pretty decent improvement. Second method, Bake Shadows. No, you don't need an oven. I want to show you a quick demonstration. As you can see, by disabling real-time shadow, we get huge FPS gain. But unfortunately, our game looks kinda... Um, Potato. And potato is no good. So what can we do? Well, that's where shadow baking comes in handy. Instead of using real-time shadow, we'll just put it on the texture. Wow, 1000 IQ gameplay! If you model your object in Blender, you can simply select ambient occlusion and hit bake. There will be an output file like this. You can simply put it on the material. And we get better visual with the same performance. Third method, disable unnecessary object. A simple way to increase performance is to throw out useless stuffs. I think I don't really need that much of trees. I think I don't really need that much of wood. I think I don't really need that much of rocks. I think I don't really need that much of green. I think I don't need this island. Lastly, you can also disable the player and the sun and camera. And wow, we get a huge performance improvement. What a magical Ford method buy a new PC. This is a brand new computer. How do I get this? Um, let's not talk about- Let's run Unity and 300 FPS. That's like 100% improvement with a single step. Fifth method, use assembly language. You know what? C Sharp is actually kind of potato. Let's program in assembly instead. It's pretty simple actually. Open CMD, write down pseudocode.unity.exe start session 130, select start from assembly language, hit enter, and wow, we successfully make a game.